you don't trust anyone. You can't even remember when last you did trust anyone. Hey, I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. I am the Prosperity Minister and I support you in regaining your confidence, in leaving behind the pain and the limiting beliefs of the past, and in rising victorious in your true design life. It is a life of freedom, of fulfillment, of financial abundance, a love-drenched life, if you're willing to claim it. This whole lack of trust thing, that is you showing unwilling to claim the good that is yours. This whole looking for the scam, looking for the catch all the time, leaving you feeling isolated, everybody, or you're looking at them with suspicion. You're probably looking at me with suspicion right now. Why is she trying to sell me? Why is she trying to sell me? <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I want you to come into the Deliberate Millionaire Incubator, no doubt about that. But this is the thing, honey, how is he helping you to live this way? You feel so isolated. You feel like everybody's against you. You feel hurt that even the ones that are supposed to love you don't love you in the way that you want them to love you. And so that has caused you to put this shield up around everybody. You're always listening to what they say to see how it's they're going to be used against you in some way. You're always looking to see what is what is the catch. If anything, it seems too good. Oh my gosh, there must be something about to come and bite me on the butt. So I need to be on high alert all the time. How is this helping you? How is this helping you? It's keeping you away from your own good. You deserve so much better than this. And the truth of the matter is, yes, I understand. People have hurt you. No doubt about it. People have done things to make you feel like they're not to be trusted. I live that way myself. I, I still, I, I suppose sometimes I can still be of that mindset that says, um, that, well, you know, people are people and they will always let you down somehow. But I know that even for me, it hasn't been a healthy way to live. So I've had to learn to move away from that way of thinking, to move away from it, really. And I know it's a product of my background. I've had many reasons to distrust people. And I'm not saying we're going to go around now sharing every single thing about ourselves with every single person. Although, let me tell you this, when you really truly know your foundation, the foundation that you are absolutely, completely loved by the divine and that you have a group of people around you who absolutely adore you, it doesn't even matter what anybody that you don't know thinks about you. Now I know you're going to say, I don't care what people don't, what people think about me right now. It's a lie. <laughs> I'll just be blunt about it. It's a lie. You do care. You care a heck of a lot about what people think of you. And it is that it's that it's actually the fact that you care so much about what people think of you that causes you to not trust anyone. It causes you to put up a facade, to pretend to be something that you're not. You're, you, because ultimately it comes down to the fact that, well, I already think they're going to think something bad about me, so I may as well not even bother. <laughs> I don't know, not even trust them, not even bother to to try. Let's put it that way. But it's, it's, it's a response to the hurt you're already feeling. It's a response to the fact that you've just already decided, you know what, people are going to disappoint me. I may as well live disappointed already. Seriously, it's not a good way to live. And it, does, it also, you know, a lot of people... You, you, the support you need in order to move forward, you don't trust. You, you know, you feel the nudge inside of you to do something, but you just don't do it because oh, it's a scam. They're just trying to take me for a ride. That person did this thing to me before and not going to allow them, anybody to do that to me again. How is this way of thinking serving you, my love? You might tell yourself, well, at least it's kept me safe from this, that, and the other, but yes, what else? What good things has he kept you safe from as well? What good things have you prevented yourself from experiencing? Because you're walking around with this chip on your shoulder and this whole I don't trust anybody vibe. I get it. I say again, I don't diminish your pain. I don't diminish the things that have happened. I don't. It, it, you can tell me your stories and I will agree with you. Those, those things were horrible. Yes, people can do horrible things. People don't always show themselves to be trustworthy. I get it. But it doesn't serve you to live this way. It doesn't serve you to walk around with a chip on your shoulder. It doesn't serve you to always be looking for the bad thing in somebody else. It doesn't serve you. So you may think you're keeping yourself safe, but you're keeping yourself away from your own highest good as well. Because your highest good will always be in some way delivered through somebody else. In some way. <laughs> And so if you're walking around thinking, I don't trust anybody and I'm never going to trust anybody, your highest good be trying to get to you, you'll be saying no. And you don't even realize you're saying no. This whole lack of trust thing, 
it seems safe, but actually it's a very dangerous place to live. A very isolating place to live. So honey, are you done with always having your guard up? Because this is the other thing as well. It's eating away at your confidence, eating away at your energy. All this having to have this facade up all the time. Always watching out for the, the horrible in other people. It's eating your energy. Are you done with that yet? Come. Come and do life with me in the Deliberate Millionaires Incubator. I know you, honey. I see you. I really do. Okay? And I can support you in moving forward. I can support you in becoming everything that you know you are born to be. You're meant for so much more. But this whole lack of trust thing... It's keeping you from your good. Come and be part of the incubator. It's a, a group of us, driven spiritual people. We know we're meant for more. We've decided to regain confidence, regain self-esteem, regain self-belief, and to prosper in every single area of life. Come and join in. Join the conversations. Join the empowering experience that I do every week. Listen in to the Abundance Library. Allow yourself to be immersed in a different environment that enables you to thrive. You are meant to thrive and prosper. But you have to say yes. I don't care how successful you look on the outside, honey. I look successful with my being a pharmacist and all of this and all of the other. But I also was very hurting, very hurting inside. That's even a way to say it. But there was a lot of hurt inside of me. And it was keeping me from the good that I desired. As I've healed... My prosperity has increased in every area of my life. The same will be said for you as it is said for my clients. Come into the Deliberate Millionaires Incubator. Come now. There's no more time to keep messing about in the wrong life for you. Come now. Okay? Much amazing love. Share this video with somebody else. Come to rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash Deliberate Millionaire. Come and join us. I look forward having you in group. Much love. Speak soon.